Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to draft your own spider web quilting design. And then I will set it in the Harvest Stars quilt. I've opened my Harvest Star PJ8 project, which was the quilt that I did during the last blog session. And I decided I wanted to create a quilting design and let me first of all view the project sketchbook and you can see the quilts that I created during the last session and I'm just going to select one of them and select edit. Now I am ready to add quilting. I thought this would be a great quilt for a spider web quilting design. Select the block work table and select new block open library and do a search by note card and type in kaleidoscope and select OK. Select the first kaleidoscope block and select edit to block work table. Select the edit tool and select one of the inside line segments. Under partition segments, change it to four and select apply. Select each of the other additional line segments and repeat. Under Snapping Options, turn off Snap to Grid and turn on Snap to Node. Select the Line tool and connect the nodes. Then select Add to Project Sketchbook. Take the Pick tool and use the Ctrl or Command plus the A key so that everything is selected. Under the Menu Toolbar, select Edit followed by Copy. And select a new block and for this one, select a pieced plus applique followed by easy plus applique. Make sure you're in the easy draw tab. The pick tool is still selected under drawing tools and select edit paste. Then center the block. I did find it useful to switch the snapping options to snap to grid so we could get those um, nodes from those original diagonal lines to connect up to the edges of the block. Select the applique tab. In the precision toolbar, make sure that all the snapping options are turned on. Select the draw tool, select the line, trace the inside slanted lines for the original kaleidoscope. Select the Bezier curve and turn off auto join segments when drawing. And draw a series of Bezier curves to outline the outside of the spider web. You can keep these wonky or you can clean them up by using the edit tool. With the edit tool, you can adjust each of the arcs by moving the handles. To get the handles to appear, click on the arc itself. You can also adjust the curvature of the arc by dragging the arc itself. Continue until you've cleaned up all of the arcs. Under Snapping Options, turn off Snap to Grid. Now select the Draw tool with the Bezier curve and do your best to trace the lines, trying to match the nodes in Easy Draw. We can't actually snap to those nodes, but we will be able to clean things up later. Then select the Edit tool and use the same process to adjust the arcs. Or, if you prefer, you can go ahead and keep them wonky. If you zoom in on those intersecting nodes, you'll probably notice that they're not quite matching those slanted lines. And so while you're zoomed in, you can use the Edit tool and move the actual nodes so that they intersect with the lines. Now you don't have to be super picky about this, but sometimes you know we just like to get things to match and we can go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and fast forward through the rest of the cleanup. Then we're going to go ahead and select Add to Project Sketchbook. Now with the Pick tool, we're going to select Control Command plus A again. Under the Menu Toolbar, select Edit Copy and do a New Block Applique Motif and select Edit, 
paste, center and block. Now go to the color tab and select the thread tools and I'm going to select a brown thread. I'll select the style dotted line. I'll do a heavier weight and use the spray thread to color. Zoom in to double check the quilting lines. And then I will select Add to Project Sketchbook. Then select the Quilt Work Table and select Layer 3. Then under Block Tools, Set Block, select the Stencil tab. If your spider web is not in the Stencil tab, it may be because you have a closed shape. If that's the case, it is probably under Motifs. But select the spider web and drag it to the quilt. Select it with the adjust tool and let's change the size to 16 by 16. Under the quilt grid setup, make sure they are all turned on and change the grid snap increments to one inch. And then we are going to position this over the first set of four blocks. Select copy followed by paste and move the pasted item over the next set of four blocks. Notice that the center of the spider webs are cornerstones in the actual quilt. Repeat, paste, and position the last two sets of spider webs. So let's select Add to Project Sketchbook. For a little bit of added fun, I took the spider block from the EQ library, made some modifications so it would look a little bit better as a stencil, and placed it on layer 3. Thanks so much for watching. For additional tips and techniques, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com.